Hello everybody, thank you for joining us at Metri Ethernet Talk Session. My name is Vasily Mukin, I am Solution Architect of the Juniper Networks. Our today topic is e-transit service as it is specified by MEF. At our previous talks we saw how e-access service can be enabled between Uni and ENNI, located at ACX and MX series routers respectively. Now let's see if ACX is able to host ENNI function in addition to Uni function. For this purposes, we are going to build in our lab a virtual Ethernet connection which interconnects two ENNI ports. In MEF spec, this service flavor is known as eTransit. It is widely used within the Ethernet Exchange Providers network, which for example finds itself located between regional metro service provider and cloud service provider. I am using a testbed, which you may be already familiar with. Two routers are interconnected via MPLS fabric with pre-configured core facing interfaces. As in the previous examples, we need to create endpoints of the OVC. Both endpoints should be configured as ENNI this time. Connectivity and OVC control plane will be established by means of Martini pseudowire. And we need to assign an appropriate class of service profile to endpoints of the virtual connection. For today's exercise, we are interested only in service attributes and skip configuration for bandwidth profiles, which will be added in the real case scenario. Let's take a look into configuration of both routers. From our previous exercise, I have port XC0046 of the ACX 5K router configured with Uni endpoints. For Ian and I, I'll pick up another port XE004. First, we need to enable provider bridge encapsulation at this port. At the next step, I am creating logical units, which are my OVC endpoints and also serve as termination points of the Martini Ethernet circuit and we need to complete this task at both sides. Once completed, let's enable L2 socket. Finally, we need to assign a cost profile to the logical units. Depending on type of a cost model, we can use either PCP classifier or assign overall e-transit OVC to one of the forwarding class, high, medium, low, which would correspond to one of the MEF cost label HMOL. My choice is to classify based on PCP bit of the outer stack. After committing configuration, we should have our sockets up and running and ready to forward traffic. I am sending a bidirectional stream of traffic, which consists of 5 flows in each direction tracked by VLAN ID and VLAN priority. 500 packets will be sent and captured per direction. Outer tag corresponds to OVC S tag and inner tag incremented from 2000 to 2004, which corresponds to customer C tag. As we mentioned before, eTransit is agnostic to CVLAN ID and should tunnel them transparently. Alright, we saw no losses here, all 500 packets delivered in each direction. Let's check captured frames at Ian and I on a Mac site first. All 500 packets are double tagged, with outer tag set to provider bridge TPID and VLAN ID 777. Inner tag and PCP are delivered and changed. In an I and ACX side exposes same picture.
That was a very short demonstration of how you can enable e-transit service between two metro routers ACX and MX series routers in our case. We saw that ACX is capable of providing same ENNI function and uses similar configuration as you may already used on MX routers. At next session, I'll talk briefly about ELAN service and we'll see how VPLS can be used at both ACX 5K and MX series routers to enable this type of Ethernet virtual connection. I'll show a couple of valuable configurations which enable CVLAN bundling attribute and allow to keep service within MEF specification. Thank you for staying with us and looking forward to meet you at next Metro Ethernet session.